Hi guys, this is Stacy from Rangefinder Magazine. I am here with Ben Shirk, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about senior portraits. So, um, Ben, my first question for you, how do you sort of come up with some of the ideas for your senior portraits? And is it a collaboration between you and your subjects? Um, there's a little bit of both. I do I want certainly to come up with an idea that's going to fit the subject's um, just style and personality. Mm -hmm. But um, through that, we have a senior reservation form that we send them that finds out about all those ideas, the personality, what they're looking for, what their hopes are, what products they're interested in, um, so that we can start developing those ideas before they come in. So I'm ready for um, knowing what colors of the background are going to look best, mm -hmm. uh, what lighting dynamics and things like that. As far as gathering those ideas, uh, I keep a pretty extensive list of idea folders, um, different things. I have basketball players and you know um, every kind, every type of different like genre that I can think of. And just I follow a lot of great artists. I love illustrative things and movies and anything, any idea that inspires me. I'm throwing it into my idea folder, and then I can rely on later or develop it more um, if it's a specific idea I haven't developed enough. Uh, so looking into other art, other things that are happening, move, like I said, Hollywood movies, um, gaming, CD covers, magazines, all that stuff. And then I combine them all together to create a um, something that's a little bit more my take. Like I take inspiration from all those different things and mash them together to take give it my own look instead of trying to copy something directly. Awesome. And now... Um I know a lot of your pictures are done either on green screen or with a black ba uh, blank background that you can sort of uh, turn into more of a story. Can you tell me a little bit about how you go through that storytelling process and what sort of elements you might use to really uh, elevate your portrait work? Sure. Well, we actually, for our green screen stuff, when, I, when I'm going to do a composite, it's usually for someone with a specific interest. So, for example, a football player, um, a so hockey star, things like that, that are looking for something that's um, kind of up to us, but like if you look at the um, graphic images of athletes and Nike ads and things like that, that's who they're inspired by and that's who they want to look like. So that's what I'm creating my athletes for is generally someone with a specific interest that I can kind of develop a story around. If it's just a nice senior in a beautiful dress, usually I'm taking them out to a field and things like that. Um, but to develop that story, um, it's very important for me to um, kind of create layers of interest uh, within that, so there's something happening in the foreground, something happening in the midground with the senior, and something things happening in the background, and then taking an even step further and creating like color harmony and leading lines and triangles of interest and things like that. All those things that you learned in the art, your art classes when growing up, um, I actually apply those. Uh, it, it took a while in you know developing my style, but applying those actual things that the teachers teach you, and uh, and actually developing a cool image from there. Very cool. Awesome. And now, um, the last thing, if we can do a plug for some of the products that you're offering, uh, some of the brushes and things like that, can you tell me a little bit about your packages? Sure. Uh, today we talked a lot about uh, different atmospheric things that I use to create atmosphere around the subject. And what I term atmosphere are things like fog and smoke, um, water, powder, uh, fire, um, light streams and light rays and things like that. Things that you can use to compress an, a subject into a scene. So when you photograph a scene and, and and put a subject in front of it, they're technically just stand, standing in front of a background. I want to make them look like they're in the scene, so by layering elements around them, it really compresses them into the scene and makes it a little bit more dynamic and interesting. So with those, I have, um, like, I've spent quite a bit of time on each of my brushes. So my water brushes, I usually develop, spend about six, six to eight months developing a brush just to make sure that using it within my athletes and my own work extensively to make sure that there's lots of um, useful things with it and even taking it a little bit further than most people like there's other water brushes around certainly and you can create your own but there are specific things that I've developed within my own brushes that make it unique and more useful like on um, the colorizations um, the different lighting t lighting that I've used on them the uh, just even the, the way they're splashing I've thought about how um, it would come off an athlete's toe or something like that. And I have all those specific brushes, you know, how they're going to splash up around their feet or around their body and different things like that. So I spent a lot of time developing those, all my uh, products to make sure that they're a little bit, quite a bit more unique than um, something you can get, just get anywhere. Awesome. And lastly, can you tell our audience uh, where we can find some of your work and download some of these brushes? <laughs> sure. Uh, my site is Shirk Photography, and then it's, uh, I could probably hold this up. <laughs> sure. Too. Um, it is shirkphotography.com backslash photographers hyphen or dash arena. So that's my site here. Um, it's just generally off my client, so you can go to my client site and go to four photographers, or you can type this in, but it has all our different templates and backgrounds. Um, lots of samples of our work and, and unique images that uh, you can use for yourself.
Fantastic. Well, awesome. Ben, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. And uh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you.